Hello and welcome to the video where today I'm going to be talking about what a lean bulk is and how you can do it. Now as you would have seen from the title of the video, this is actually a follow on from a video that I saw Greg O'Gallagher do or you may know him as Kino Body. And I never want to be seen as a YouTuber to call anybody out or start a confrontation that just there is no need. But I do feel that if I'm in the know about something then I have a responsibility to educate and help people. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what I think a lean bulk is and also how you can do it. So what is a lean bulk? Well, in all honesty, I don't actually know. It doesn't really make too much sense to me. That's like saying a big small just is a bit conflicting. but. What I think it means is when you try to add muscle mass but keep yourself lean, as in low body fat. Now, is it possible? Well, it's going to be a very, very, very hard thing to do. And even if you do manage it, it's going to take a long, long time. So in order to put on muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus, which means you need to be consuming more calories than your body needs. But if you are in such a small calorie surplus that you are only putting on muscle rather than fat, I mean, is it possible? Well, not really, because you can't just give your body more calories and be specific and say, only use these calories for putting on muscle because it just doesn't work like that. You will just put on weight. The idea is that you want to encourage it to go towards your muscles, but unfortunately, putting on fat is actually something that is completely unavoidable and will happen if you are in a calorie surplus. Being in a slight calorie surplus just means it's gonna take you longer to put on weight, as opposed to if you have loads of calories, you're gonna put on weight much quicker. Now, there is a much easier and much better way to put on muscle mass without the excess body fat, but doing a small and slight increase isn't necessarily the way to do it. Yes, you would get results, but you are also gonna see some body fat and it's gonna take you a long, long time. So before I get into the method on how I would do it and how I would educate someone to do it, I just wanna dispel another myth, which is based on people thinking that a lean bulk is where you're just eating whole foods as opposed to processed foods. People like to call this clean eating, and I think some people believe that if they're eating healthier uh, whole foods as opposed to processed foods, then they're not going to put on any body fat. But that is actually incorrect because your body doesn't care where the calories come from. Yes, whole foods are going to be healthier for you than processed foods, but ultimately a calorie is a calorie. So if you're in a 500 calorie surplus with whole foods, and you have also someone who's in a 500 calorie surplus with processed foods, the results on your physique and your appearance is going to be exactly the same because you are both in a 500 calorie surplus. It's like saying, what's heavier, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? They're gonna be exactly the same. So now that you know you are gonna to have to put on some body fat if you want to put on some muscle mass, you're gonna to wanna to know how to do it. So first things first is you're gonna to wanna to get yourself down to a level of leanness that you are happy with. So get your body fat percentage down to a point where you are happy with your appearance and how shredded you look. Now, if you're already at your desired lean appearance, then there's no need to go through this first process. But if not, then you need to put yourself into a calorie deficit, meaning you're having less calories than your body needs in order to get your body fat percentage down so that you are as lean as you are happy to be before you then get started. If you need any help with any of this, then I have got a ton of content that helps with getting yourself lean and shredded. I'll put a link in the description below and you can go and check that out anytime. So once you're at this point, you're then gonna to wanna to start your bulking phase. And for your bulking phase, I would recommend that you do no more than a 20% calorie increase from your maintenance calorie levels. This normally works out to be around five to 700 calories more than your maintenance levels. And the reason that I would recommend going no higher than this is because there is only a certain amount of muscle that your body can produce in a certain period of time. So if you're a beginner, as an example, and I'll put a chart on the screen now to show you, you can expect after a month to put on maybe one to one and a half percent of muscle mass. And as you get more advanced, believe it or not, that figure actually goes down and it can go down to around half a percent or sometimes even lower. So the reason it's good to know this is because if you're putting on weight 
too quickly, then you know that you're only putting on fat rather than muscle, so you can rein your calories in and control it a bit more, because as I say, if you're putting on weight quicker than the one to one and a half percent each month, then you know that you are gonna be putting on more fat than muscle. So to put this into figures to make it easier to understand, if you're 75 kilograms, you can expect to put on 0.75 to around one kilogram a month of muscle. So if you're putting on weight quicker than that, then you know that the excess is going to be fat and not muscle. So once you've got your calories right and you are putting on weight slowly, you may get to a point where you look in the mirror and you are fatter than you wanted to be, but yet you're not at the size that you want to be. So meaning that you're not as lean, however you want to put on more muscle. When this happens, you're gonna to want to lose some body fat. So I'm gonna put on the screen now a graph of a typical bulking phase that I would go through in order to keep myself looking lean whilst I'm bulking. And as you can see from the graph, after around 10 weeks, as an example, you don't have to, it might happen sooner, depending on what your calories are, but you'll see that the calories will drop down in order to keep the body fat in check. Once you've got your body fat in check and you look in the mirror and you're happy with how lean you are, then you can then put the calories back up again and continue on your bulk. So that is a way that you can keep yourself lean whilst bulking, but it is gonna require you to be uh, tracking and keeping updates on your physique and where you want to be. And you can actually follow this process for as long as you want. It's not gonna get you to like competition shredded and you're not gonna have your abs completely popping when you're doing this because ultimately you are gonna be predominantly in a calorie surplus, meaning you are gonna be putting on some body fat. But if you're just wanting to stay relatively lean and bulk at the same time, then you can just continue doing this process until you reach your desired size. Now, if you are looking to put on some muscle mass, then I have a plan that is gonna be coming out in just a few weeks called Grow Like Crazy. And if you wanna know exactly when this is coming out, then please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you a penny. Go and follow me on Instagram and I'll let you know as soon as it is available and where you can get it from. So if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was useful, then please hit the like button and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.